How you doing, guys? Good morning. Where it says impact application, have a seat, okay? Good morning. Today we're giving our student athletes impact baseline test as part of their physical exam as they enter the University of Miami. Part of the program here at the university is we're very proactive. We baseline all our athletes with impact, so we have a test on them prior to the season. Impact is a neurocognitive computerized screening uh, tool. Good luck, guys. Take your time. Just do what the test tells you to do. It goes through some visual memory questions, from verbal memory questions, looks at reaction times. Because these are all things that get disturbed once you have any sort of concussive event. It's just a baseline test. It gives us a baseline score. When the athlete is involved in any type of concussion uh, situation while they're playing at the University of Miami, we use that baseline to determine when they can come back to play. What you're really looking at is, for example, Johnny's baseline test to Johnny's post-injury test because you want to see how if he's down in any of the areas. And then we know objectively that we have to keep him out until he actually scores back to his baseline. So it's a good objective measure. I've been working with Dr. Haas since 1996 when this all started. I was a head athletic trainer at Miami South Virginia High School. Dr. Kappa was my team physician. He was a resident here at the University of Miami. And Dr. Hotz was a good friend of Dr. Kaplan's who was working on neuro research. And so she came to our high school football game. I was at my first high school football game and we're all standing there just watching how hard these kids were hitting. She was amazed by the, the speed of the game, the, 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 the level of contact that was going on. And so she felt it was time for her to do some more research. After just one game, I realized that we should probably start a concussion program. And we did, and we've had a clinic ever since. Okay, how do you feel? You're like a little lightheaded than that. Okay, tell me, what, tell me when it's gone. My name is Dr. Kester Ned. I'm the medical director of the concussion clinic at the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine and I've been with the clinic from its inception. I know you said I could do last week some... Exertion. I wrote that for you. Yeah. Jillian and Kester are way ahead of the game in terms of how they treat the student athletes. They realize the level of importance. The easy thing in everything we do would be to tell an athlete, no, you can't go back in the game. The important thing is to figure out the risks and benefits, understand the importance to that athlete, just make sure that they proceed in a safe manner. That's all we're trying to do here at U Health in terms of sports medicine and concussion plays into that well. You know, concussion really is a major part of sports medicine and sport injury, especially what we know now. I think if the student hasn't had this care, I think they'd be at a higher risk. I think we have athletes going out there and not have a safety net. I think we're the safety net as far as we can get them off the field, we can evaluate them, and we can get them the right care. We work together with Vinny's team down at the athletic department to make sure that these kids are monitored and tracked and they're returned to play safely. That's been going on since 1996 and it's just getting better and better each time. I mean, it's a great tool for us here at the University of Miami because we do have a concussion center where we can take our athletes and make sure that we don't return our athletes to play until they're cleared by Dr. Haas and Dr. Ned. I've been involved in college football for 23 years and. 18 as a, as a coach in the last eight, now going into my ninth as a head football coach. When I look back over the years, I, I think we've made incredible strides in terms of education, in terms of preventative measures. At the University of Miami, I think we are pioneers in this field, and, and I think we have been doing it right for a long time. Dr. Hotz, along now with Dr. Kaplan and, and our training staff, do an incredible job. It's great to be a part of that, and it also, as a coach, it gives you the confidence and really the security to know that you don't have to get involved in that. And we're never involved in that. Dr. Hotz, Dr. Kaplan, along with our other physicians, prescribe the treatment and of course the diagnosis, and then we move forward. We've been doing this a long time. We've seen athletes of all ages and stages. And basically, you know, we have systems built in place now, whether it's baseline testing, whether it's 
the clinic, whether it's working with athletics, whether it's you know making sure that the coaching staff are on board with everything. It sort of all come together sort of into a perfect storm where everybody's on board, everybody's bought in, and so who benefits? The athlete. I think what sets us apart is every year we're trying to include more information, more baseline for our athletes so that we can evaluate our athletes better. And that's my main concern. Do we have all the tools, do we have all the protocols that we need that's best for our athletes? And I can say at this time, yes we do. Kevin Olson, great. Yeah. Yep. The King Devic test is part of our baseline test also that the athletes will be taking this week as part of their concussion education. Three, one, eight, six, four, five, three, seven.